Hey there, green thumbs and bloom enthusiasts. As the amber hues of fall descend, does your garden echo the vibrant chorus of autumn? If not, hold on to your gardening gloves because we're diving into a fall flora fiesta. Today, we're unearthing the top 15 flowers that are destined to elevate your fall garden palette. Get ready for a ride of colors, a symphony of scents, and a whirlwind of gardening wisdom. So whether you're a seasoned gardener looking to spice things up or a newbie eager to embrace the autumnal tapestry, this is the place to be. Let's dig in and discover the floral magic of fall. Kicking off our list with a burst of color and charisma, we have the ever-glorious mums, or as the botanists love to call them, chrysanthemum. An embodiment of autumn elegance, mums reign supreme from September's embrace right until the first touch of frost. And oh, the variety! From delicate daisies to stunning spiders, their blooms are nothing short of a visual treat. Now, here's a tip straight from the gardening gurus. When picking your mums, go for the ones playing hard to get, those not fully flaunting their blooms just yet. They'll settle into your garden with ease. And remember, like us after a cup of cocoa, they love their soil moist but not drenched. Treat them right, and they'll dazzle you with their fall fiesta. Sashang into our second spot is a fiery beauty that's set to ignite your garden with passion and color. The radiant red salvia, or as some fondly call it, the Scarlet Sage. Stemming from its name, this gem shines with flowers so intensely red, they could rival the hues of a setting sun. Stretching around two inches, these fiery blossoms cluster elegantly on erect stems, making a bold statement amidst the subdued tones of fall. And guess what? The red salvia isn't just a fleeting fall flame. Starting its blooming waltz as early as June, it dances right through until the first curtain call of frost. As the colder months approach, you can even invite them inside. Just pot them up and let them bring a touch of their fiery warmth to your indoor spaces. Stepping gently into our third spot, like a poetic whisper amidst the vibrant voices of fall, we have the dainty and delightful sweet alyssum, also known by its botanical name, Lobularia maritima. This floral charmer drapes the earth with mounds of gray-green foliage, crowned by clusters of tiny, sweetly scented white blossoms. It's like nature decided to sprinkle a dash of snow amidst the autumnal hues. But here's the magic of sweet alyssum. While it might take a summer siesta, retreating from the blazing heat, a gentle trim revives its spirit. And as autumn's cool embrace returns, so does its blooming splendor. For those with a hint of foresight, scattering its seeds in the waning days of summer rewards with a fresh fall bloom, ensuring your garden never loses its poetic touch. Making a bold and brilliant entrance at number 4, we have the vivacious nasturtium. A plant that wears many hats, it's here to sprinkle a carnival of colors across your garden. With an identity that's as versatile as its hues, nasturtium takes on many roles in the garden theater, the sturdy bush, the ambitious climber, and the graceful trailer. And when it decides to bloom? Oh, it's a symphony of colors that would make even a rainbow pause in admiration flaunting its florals from the balmy days of May to the amber embrace of September. The nasturtium is a diligent performer. And, while it's quite the independent soul, a gentle shower during those thirsty summer days keeps its spirit vibrant and its blooms radiant. At number 5, we delve into the poetic realm of the garden, as we unveil the timeless beauty of violets, belonging to the vast viola genus. Though potato in stature, violets carry a grand legacy, with hundreds of species to their name, they grace gardens with their low-growing mounds, painting a landscape of tender elegance. Their signature five-petal blooms stand as silent sonnets, speaking volumes without uttering a word. Summer might not be their favorite act, but come fall, and they're back in the spotlight, blooming with renewed zest. For those keen on seeing an encore performance, a sprinkle of slow-release fertilizer in the twilight of summer acts as the magic potion, ensuring a cascade of blooms when autumn takes the stage. Journeying to number 6, meet the snapdragon, or scientifically known, Anterior Hinnum Magus. These captivating blooms don't just add color and charm to your garden, they spin tales of lore and fantasy. With tubular flowers that playfully mimic a dragon's head, one could easily imagine these plants as the guardians of some secret garden realm. Resilient and enduring, snapdragons commence their blooming ballet in spring and continue their performance until the first frosty whispers of fall. While the blazing summer sun might make them retreat a bit, the first cool breeze of autumn reignites their spirit, and they bloom anew, 
at calling the cyclical dance of nature. Stepping into spot number 7 with a flamboyance that's hard to miss, we present to you the show-stopping coxcomb, also known as Silaja Argentia. Picture this, a canvas splashed with a riot of colors, from sunny yellows and warm oranges to sultry scarlet reds and deep, mysterious purples. That's coxcomb for you, turning your garden into an artist's masterpiece. For those who can't wait to witness this floral fiesta, here's a tip. Start the coxcomb seeds indoors about six to eight weeks before the final curtain call of frost in spring. This early start ensures your garden becomes the center stage for their performance, much ahead of the usual time. Sailing in at number eight, lighting up our garden tapestry with natural golden luminescence is the lovely wildflower known as goldenrod, from the solidago species. As if kissed by the sun, goldenrod's radiant yellow blooms stand tall on upright stems, like little beacons calling out to nature's pollinators. Watch as butterflies and bees, enchanted by its glow, dance around in a harmonious ballet. To keep this golden show going, a little tip from the pros, snip away the spent flower clusters and watch as your goldenrod gifts you with prolonged blooming. Whether you're planting in the rejuvenating embrace of spring or the cool caress of fall, this wildflower promises to be a steadfast golden companion. Venturing into the enchanting embrace of number 9, we discover a flower that's a master of surprise, making its grand appearance when most others are taking their final bow, the mystical autumn crocus. Imagine this, just as summer waves goodbye and the chill of autumn whispers through the trees, these magical blooms shoot up, gracing your garden with their delicate beauty, all on their own with no foliage in sight. But the tale of the autumn crocus isn't a simple one. Its bulbs, tucked into the earth during the late summer, are patient. Come spring, they send forth a burst of foliage. Yet, as summer's warmth peaks, this green curtain descends, setting the stage for the fall's star performer. And what a performance it is with blossoms rising on bare stems, captivating all who gaze upon them. At the illustrious number 10, let us traverse the vast landscapes of the East and delve into the mesmerizing world of the Russian sage, Russian sage isn't just about looks, although its ethereal silvery foliage and dainty tubular flowers are indeed a sight to behold. Crush its leaves and it'll serenade you with an aromatic symphony, transporting your senses to far-off mystical lands. Now while this sage loves basking in the sun's embrace, it's a little coy when it comes to the shade. Too much of it and you might just find its stems yearning for sunlight and its blooms shying away. But fret not! With a little springtime trim, this resilient beauty bounces back, ready to regale your garden with renewed vigor. Marching in at number 11, with heads held high and an unwavering gaze locked onto the sun, are the ever-joyful, ever-vibrant sunflowers. A true embodiment of joy, these annual wonders can't help but steal the show wherever they grow. With blooms that can stretch from 3 to 6 inches wide, they're like nature's very own sun disks, radiating warmth and happiness. And it's not just about the iconic yellow. Dive into the world of sunflowers, and you'll discover a spectrum of varieties, each with its own bloom time, ensuring the golden celebration stretches deep into fall. And the magic of sunflowers doesn't just end with their blooms. As they bid adieu to the season, they leave behind a treasure trove of seeds. Harvest them, and you've got yourself a golden ticket to another sunflower fiesta the following year. It's nature's way of promising more sunny days ahead. At our whimsical 12th spot, we introduce a flower with a name that's sure to tickle your nose. Meet the delightful sneezeweed, scientifically christened as Helenium. Now, don't let the quirky name fool you. This perennial wildflower is all about adding charm to your garden, not sneezes. With their lively, daisy-like blossoms stretching around two inches across, sneezeweeds make a statement with their bold dome centers and colorful petals. To truly unleash the blooming potential of these floral wonders, Here's a green thumb tip. Give them a little trim at least six weeks before they set the stage for their blooming extravaganza. This thoughtful haircut encourages them to branch out, quite literally, resulting in a grand display of more blooms and more color. Landing vibrantly at number 13, we welcome the ever-lively Calibrakawa. You might also recognize them by their catchy moniker, Million Bells, and trust us, they certainly live up to that name. When autumn's canvas craves a burst of color, Calibrakawa is the artist you want. These enthusiastic bloomers, available in a kaleidoscope of hues, 
can dazzle any space, be it a garden bed or your favorite porch container. And, the secret to their relentless blooming spirit. A little dash of fertilizer and a trim as summer waves goodbye. Dreaming of a low-maintenance floral companion? Look no further. These self-cleaning wonders save you the chore of deadheading, letting you simply bask in their beauty. So, whether in the ground or a container, let these million bells serenade you with their floral symphony all through fall. Strolling in at number 14, with the warmth of a sunlit meadow and the charm of a countryside ballad, meet the ever-beloved black-eyed Susan, or as botanists like to call it, Rudbeckia herda. These low-maintenance stars are not just a treat for the eyes. They're hard-working nectar stations, ensuring our buzzing buddies stay fueled from the warmth of early summer right up to the cool embrace of late fall. And as winter approaches, this nectar becomes all the more precious for overwintering pollinators. Whether you're crafting a whimsical cottage garden or envisioning a wild meadow landscape, these native wildflowers are your golden ticket. Simply gift them a sunny nook and they'll reward you with a flourishing dance of color and life. Rounding off our vibrant journey at number 15, we unwrap nature's own colorful gift, the vivacious blanket flower, known in botanical circles as Gallardia grandiflora. With a zeal to infuse life and color wherever they grow, these perennial wonders won't stay unnoticed. Flaunting their bright, show-stopping blooms, which stretch a generous three to four inches across, blanket flowers stand as a testament to nature's undying love for drama and spectacle. And, just when you think the summer's heat has lulled them into a rest, a little snip and trim can work wonders. Like a phoenix, they rise again, ensuring their flamboyant display continues well into the Christmas of fall. And that wraps up our vibrant journey through fall's floral wonders. Each bloom, from the humble mum to the vivacious blanket flower, adds its unique splash of color and charm to the season. Whether you're a seasoned green thumb or just starting your gardening journey, remember that every plant, every flower, tells a story. And in the heart of fall, these stories come alive in the most enchanting ways. This has been another blooming episode with Plant Do Home and Garden. Stay rooted, keep growing, and until our next garden escapade, happy planting.